is the ultimate upholstery, drapery, and cleaning machine. Before we actually get into taking the mystery out of upholstery and drapery cleaning too, we're going to walk through the features and setup of the Ultimate PB3. If you're the proud owner of a new Ultimate PB3, congratulations. You're about to unpack the most unique upholstery and drapery cleaning machine on the market today with patents and features just not available with any other equipment. As you unpack your equipment, inspect the shipping box and your PB3 for any damage. If any damage is detected, contact the trucking company immediately. Starting on the left of the PB3 is the 4-in-1 upholstery kit. In front of the tool kit is the vacuum hose and pressure line. And to the far right is the exhaust hose. In the center of the exhaust hose is your training video, training and instruction manual, warranty card, and your siphon plug. All pressure lines are rated at 2,500 PSI with all brass quick disconnects. This thinner thermoplastic hose is designed to retain the heat. The industrial quality vacuum hoses are one and a quarter inch diameter and tie wrapped to the pressure line. You never have to look for a bucket because it's built into the machine. It actually becomes your recovery bucket and you simply lift it out to dump your dirty water. Notice the automatic float shut off. As the tank fills with used solution, the float goes to the top and electronically shuts the machine down before any overflow damage can occur. Under your bucket is the filter screen. Inspect it for dirt each time you dump the dirty water. The automatic float shut off must be at the rear of the machine. The groove at the bottom of the bucket fits over a nipple at the bottom of the tank, ensuring that the bucket goes in properly. The little locking tabs are optional. You may want to use them when traveling between jobs. The pump is located on the outside of the machine, and should servicing or replacement be necessary, it's easily removed without tools. The cover is removed with a thumb nut. The pump simply slides off its mount, and the wires are separated with a quick-release disconnect. The machine is designed with ease of service in mind. The compactness of the PB3 and its light weight of 46 pounds make this unit very easy to handle. It stores behind the front seat of an automobile. The body is made of a molecular resin material and it cannot crack, break, rust or leak. We guarantee it for life. Parts and labor are covered under a two-year warranty. Now let's prepare the machine for cleaning. First, we need some cleaning solution in the tank. The hour gauge registers up to 10,000 hours and allows you to monitor your machine and your job. All of the switches are on top for easy access. This eliminates the operator damaging the machine by kicking the switches off and on, which often happens on machines where the switches are commonly located on the lower side of the machine. With the heater switch on, you're automatically at 125 degrees. This is for dry cleaning only. We don't want you to dry clean above 125 degrees for safety. When you're wet cleaning, however, in most cases, you'll want to adjust the rotary booster switch to a full 200 degrees for maximum cleaning efficiency. You'll notice that the warning light came on when you turned on the booster switch. This light is warning you not to use solvents because you're now in booster heat. When the booster switch is turned off, the warning light goes off too. This is your vacuum switch. This is your pump switch. Okay, we have cleaning solution in the tank and we're ready to continue setting up the PB3 for our first cleaning job. Hook up your cleaning tool and your vacuum and pressure lines. Now, turn on the pump switch only and spray into the holding tank. This will send solution through the lines and the heat exchanger and self-prime the machine at the same time. This may take a few seconds to a couple of minutes. As soon as you see a good spray, turn off the machine and turn on the heat switch only for dry cleaning. If you're going to wet clean, turn on the heater switch and the rotary booster switch. Now wait two minutes for the heat exchanger to reach operating temperature. After two minutes, again, 
spray into the holding tank. It will take approximately another 15 seconds for the lines to get hot. As soon as you see steam, you're ready to begin cleaning. Be aware that if you have solvent in the tank and you turn on the booster switch, our patented sensor system will shut off the heat. If this happens, simply turn the booster switch off. The warning light will go off at the same time. It will now heat to 125 degrees for solvent cleaning. It's always a good idea to put a drop cloth under your machine in case of an overspill in the unlikely event your machine should ever develop a leak. Your machine goes through a thorough testing procedure before it's shipped. Nevertheless, it's always good procedure to check for leaks each and every time you run your machine. To switch from dry cleaning to wet cleaning, or vice versa, first suck the tank dry. Then put the vacuum hose over the filter for five to 10 seconds. Insert the siphon plug and connect the pressure line. Then turn on the vacuum switch for approximately one minute. This procedure will suck all the solution out of the lines, heat exchanger, and pump. This also reduces the possibility of the machine freezing if you live in a cold climate. Pour your cleaning solution in the holding tank and you're ready to clean. If you forget to suck the machine dry before switching to solvent or detergent, then water and solvent will mix together and become viscous, which is going to clog the lines and the spray tip. If this happens, hook up the siphon plug again with the upholstery tool, hold the valve open, and turn on the vacuum for a couple of minutes. If this does not clear the lines, remove the spray tip and then spray back into the holding tank until the lines are clear. Now, clean the spray tip and reinstall it. When dry cleaning, always hook up the exhaust hose and extend it out into the hallway or out of an outside door or window. Now let's take a look at the tool kit. The Ultimate Tool Kit is the first innovative breakthrough in many years. It features a professional case that houses four different sized cleaning heads. These heads slide on or off the base tool. The base tool incorporates a swivel handle. If the operator desires to clean with a three inch wide upholstery tool, he simply slides on the three inch head and he's in business. Note that the operator never has to switch quick disconnects or vacuum hoses. He simply slides on the head of his choice. If he desires a four inch head, then he repeats the procedure. The tools are made of a space age resin material that cannot crack or break, guaranteed for life. For larger areas like cushions, backs, and sides of the sofa, or upholstered panels, a six inch head is included. If the operator wishes to switch from upholstery to drapery cleaning, he simply slides on the six inch drapery head. The fatigue factor is reduced dramatically with this lightweight tool. This is the last tool you'll ever have to purchase for this purpose. When you're all through cleaning, be sure and empty the recovery bucket. If you travel with the recovery bucket full, it's possible for the movement of the vehicle to cause solution to slosh over the bucket into the vacuum motor, causing water damage. This type of water damage is not covered under the warranty. Wrap the cord around the holding tank before traveling to the next job.